This is ANN News Brief. Kenyan doctors employed by Nairobi County government have gone back to work today, Thursday, after a six-day strike over delayed salaries and lack of protective equipment for handling patients who may have COVID-19. Nairobi County Secretary General of the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union said in a messaging app that the doctors had returned to work after signing an agreement with the county officials on Wednesday. In the agreement, the government promised to pay doctors on the fifth day of every month, failure of which the doctors were free to stop work without notice. The agreement also provides doctors with two isolation facilities in the event they contract the coronavirus. The county government also committed to providing the doctors with adequate supplies of high quality personal protective equipment, PPEs. 320 striking doctors working in hospitals run by the Nairobi County government went on strike last week, citing poor quality protective gear, too few isolation wards, and inadequate health insurance. Data from Kenya Ministry of Health show the country has 33,016 confirmed coronavirus cases, 564 deaths, and 19,296 recoveries out of 4,000 of 429,000 tests conducted. A new report says Mali military coup leaders have told a delegation of West African mediators they want to stay in power for a three-year transition period. Three days of meeting by negotiators from the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, who were in Mali last weekend, ended without a decision on the structure of a transitional government. ECOWAS discussed a return to civilian role with the military officers who ousted President Ibrahim Boubaka Keita last week. ECOWAS delegation leader, Nigeria's former president, Goodluck Jonathan, says the mutineers are now seeking to oversee a three-year transition before elections. After taking power, the junta leaders had said they acted because the country was sinking into chaos and insecurity, which they said was largely the fault of poor government. They also promised to oversee a transition to elections within a reasonable amount of time. ECOWAS has said the only acceptable option was an interim government headed by a civilian or retired military officer to last for six or nine months and maximum of 12 calendar months. The coup has raised the prospect of further political turmoil in Mali and an expanding threat from Islamist militants and civil unrest. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. French President Emmanuel Macron has been asked to intervene in the issue of Ivory Coast President Alassane Oteras' planned bid for a third term in October's election. Oteras' opponents say his decision to run again is unconstitutional. Ivory Coast former rebel leader Golami Soro has written to President Macron that Ivorians have noticed France's definite silence on the matter. He said France had hailed Otero's initial announcement that he would not seek re-election, but had been quiet after the president accepted his party's nomination for a third term. So, and former president Laurent Gbagbo have been barred from vying because of their previous convictions. Soro was convicted in absentia in April 2020 of embezzlement and money laundering, while Gbagbo was sentenced in absentia in November 2019 for the looting of a local branch of the Central Bank of West African states. That is ENA News Brief at 4. Join us again at 5 for our full newscast. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, ennafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ENN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi. <laughs>